everyone, this is Judy from Pieces to Our Past. Um, this is kind of an interesting and different kind of um, video. I'm going to try to do this kind of one-handed, see how it works. I treated myself to a 74th an 75th anniversary Silkstone vintage inspired Barbie doll. Um, I have been out of Barbie for a very long time. I gotta tell ya, I miss her. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this one handed. Let's see. Uh, maybe not. Come on. There we go. Got it. Here's the top of the box. She looks, oh my gosh. Oh, she's beautiful. Okay, there she is. She is a silkstone Barbie which is not vinyl and not porcelain. It's in between. She has the classic bathing suit, zebra stripe bathing suit. She has the earrings and the tight poodle curls and her bangs. And this is modeled after the number one Barbie, which is characterized by the um, white irises. Um, and also the um, very, very uh, sharply peaked eyebrows. So she is modeled after the number one Barbie, which is the holy grail in any Barbie collector's collection, is to find an actual number one Barbie. And the actual number one Barbies had holes in their feet, which she also has, and they have recreated the stand with the pegs, you can see it right there. So she does not have the typical silkstone stand. She has the reproduction stand of the original Barbie stand, which blows me away. Um, the original Barbies, the number one Barbie, had um, tubes up her legs and that would hold her onto the stand, but it proved to be very difficult for young children to deal with. So they quickly got rid of that stand and went to the copper wire under the arm stand. Now let's see, she has her glasses, just like she did when she was first out. And of course her black mule shoes. And of course the Barbie tag, the wrist tag. If you ever get a chance, go on to, um, sorry about that. I wanted to see if there was anything on the other side. Um, if you ever get a chance, go on to YouTube and look up the, the old Barbie commercials from the 60s. It, uh, it'll blow your mind. So I just wanted to share this with everybody. Um, we are, Haley and I are going to be doing a couple of videos tomorrow that we'll put out um, next week. And there'll be about some beautiful pieces of um, glass we've gotten. Um, some is already sold, but I wanted to take some video of it before it actually goes out. Um, but I know that some of the collectors out there also collect dolls. And there she is. Oops. See what happens when I try to do stuff without hailing. The other thing that I wanted to show you real quick, trying to keep these min vids under seven minutes, here is the other thing. I'll do this really slow so you guys don't get sick. I have started collecting Vintage Skipper again. I had a huge vintage collection when we moved to North Carolina and due to unforeseen circumstances as everybody gets now and then, I wound up having to sell the collection, but it was okay, you know, part of being an adult, things need to happen, and it was worth it, um, but now I'm in a position where, thanks to the eBay business, I'm in a position now where I can uh, start putting my collection back together. And the only actual vintage doll I am going to actually be actively collecting is going to be Skipper and Scooter. And this is the start. This is a Titian Skipper. All my dolls are straight leg, except Tootie over there. 
Um, all my dolls are straight leg. This is a Titian Skipper in a clone outfit. Um, clone outfits were made by off-brand folk before, and they were, they're just as nice, I think. I mean, yeah, Mattel has great, I, I mean, for the price point they were, they were perfect. And that is a blonde scooter in Day at the Fair, I think is the name of that one. I'm not 100% sure if, if I'm rusty, it's been a while. Um, this is a blonde, an ash blonde scoot, skipper that I bought. This was the first one I bought. She is in um, Flower Girl, I believe is the name of it. Uh, this is Haley's absolute favorite outfit. She loves this one. Um, she actually picked out a vintage skipper off, oh God, I'm so sorry, uh, off of uh, eBay that should be coming soon. She's going to have her own. And this is Titian Scooter. And I forget the name of the outfit she is in. I think it's the baking outfit. I believe that's what it is. And then this is my favorite. I'm sorry, girls, but you all, she is. She's my favorite. She is a brunette uh, skipper. Um, she is a test market skipper. I did not know that when I bought her, but I'm very happy to know that she is. And I think the name of this outfit is Sunny Pastels. And then in one lot that I got um, <laughs> came a tootie. Uh, I wasn't going to collect tootie, but Haley kind of fell in love with her. So I think tootie's going to stick around for a while. Um, the room here is Haley inspired. She did most of the picking out of background and the fabrics and it's not even quite done yet. Not even close to done. But So I just wanted to share that with everybody and hope everybody is doing good. And we will be back in a couple of days with a really short video. We're going to keep these, I got to keep these to seven minutes and under because of our Wi-Fi here. But we're going to be doing a nice video on um, some glassware that we got and other things we have for sale, other pieces of glass and dishware and things like that. So happy Sunday everybody, enjoy your day, and I'll talk to you real soon. Bye!